Hi Aries, for the awareness of the week, we have the Six of Pentacles and the Queen of Rods. The Six of Pentacles is a card of duality. It's a card of giving and receiving. In the illustration, we see the elderly man um, holding the scales and also giving the children a coin. So here it's the act of helping someone else, of providing support. Uh, not sure about the scale. Do we often weigh out our support to others? So there's that aspect of it, which is, you know, when you give, give from your heart, you know, give from an authentic place without expectation and to help someone out, to help them get back on their feet again. It's a, um, it's nice to be aware and it's a simply a very giving and rewarding act. It's just to touch base. And again, it doesn't mean that you have to write a check or that you, uh, you know, have to do something extreme. It can be the small things that show support and show caring. Uh, a phone call, uh, stopping by if someone's not feeling well, offering out, offering up to help someone. Just a small thing can help someone in a big way. And so to be mindful of that, this is what we're looking at for the awareness for the week. The other side of this is that sometimes we need support. And often, you know, we're afraid to ask. Maybe someone won't help us. Other times that we are, we feel pride and it's like you don't want to mention your problems to others. And so you let it build inside and, you know, that's not healthy. If you need support, if you need someone to talk to, if you need someone to lend a hand, then reach out. More often than not, somebody wants to help. And if you're finding disappointment, then there are community organizations that you can perhaps pick up and call 800 number or something to try to get assistance. You know, this is a card of, of where you see yourself in this illustration. Are you from the perspective of the child or from the merchant who's handing the coins out to be of service and to receive support. So awareness is this idea of support or receiving support or giving it and the queen of rods. And so the queen of rods is uh, really a powerful energy and it's a powerful energy for you. Aries, because here it's, uh, this queen is about power and it's about personal power and it's about, um, being very capable and very driven and very much aware of the environment that he or she wants to create and to be a part of. And that means, uh, having success in all areas of life, family, you know, financially, emotionally and activity wise. When we see the queen of rods, we get a sense that maybe things are picking up this week, that you're going to be busy, that you can be busy meeting people, spending time with people. The queen of rods is networking. She's making things happen, whether it's through travel or through new businesses or volunteering or other opportunities. The queen of rods is about putting it out there making things happen. You know, some may say a, te a type A type of personality. Someone who's very driven, working late, but still manages to pull it all together. So for you this week, you may be hard driving, you may be meeting people, you may be having opportunities to travel or to um, create new business. You also may be in a position to help someone out or you know, maybe you need support along the way as you're building something. So in terms of guidance, we have the King of Cups and we have the Nine of Cups. So the King of Cups brings this, um, this balance of the emotional component to your week, which is to focus on your relationships to make sure that you tell people that you care about them and that you, um, you're thinking of them 
cups and king of cups, you know, he's the master of emotions. He understands exactly where emotions fit in the big picture. And so, you know, too much emotions, not a good thing. Very little emotions, also not a good thing. It's getting it right square in the middle of the right balance. So he's empathetic, sympathetic, and understands where people are coming from. And so here he has this cup, he's going with the flow, this gentle, um, peaceful presence. And uh, if, you're, if you're in the dating game and if you are out and about and meeting people, this could be a water sign, this could be someone who's in a healing profession, a um, yoga instructor, uh, maybe another tarot reader or, you know, someone, a nurse, a doctor, someone who is very present with emotions and the sensitive touch. Often the King of Cups type of energy would make an ideal husband or partner because um, just of these emotionally wonderful qualities that, that he has. So in addition to this loving, watery, emotional uh, energy we have, we also have the Nine of Cups. And in the Nine of Cups here, you know, maybe there's a similarity between this man and this man here. He sits behind his, his Nine Cups, and he's really happy that he has these Nine Cups. So he's smiling here. He feels content. Maybe behind the scenes, this, this means that you've been working hard in order to gain the comforts of your home, to enjoy the comforts of your home, to, uh, you know, achieve the lifestyle that you want. This Nine of Cups, um, it's about, you know, not feeling bad about enjoying what you have. You know, if you've worked hard and you've earned it, then enjoy it, you know. Take the time out to appreciate what you have. So the only thing to think about when we see the Nine of Cups is that if this is simply just material gain, that ultimately that may not bring you satisfaction. You may never feel that it's enough. You know, you may never find contentment. But if this is an appreciation of what you've put in in order to have these Nine Cups, then that's legitimate. And it's, you know, it's fulfillment, it's contentment, and... Um, it goes without saying when we see the nine of cups is it's a wish card wish fulfillment to make a wish set your intention and good things will come okay so possible outcomes we have the queen of pentacles and we have the seven of swords so the Queen of Pentacles, interesting, another queen. We have a lot of people here with the King of Cups, the Queen of Rods, and the Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles is your uh, down-to-earth friend or family member, you know, or spouse, someone who's very grounded, someone who is very practical, someone who is very caring and loving. And coming from a nurturing, perhaps motherly type of perspective. So whether you are being this loving person to someone else and taking care of them and checking in on them, um, or you are, uh, you could use some of that. You know, she's, uh, she is one with nature. Here's the bunny. She's outside. She's another one that is living in abundance and appreciates the finer things in life much like the Nine of Cups. So the Queen of Pentacles, perhaps this week it's time for you to be out in nature or it's time for you to, um, you know, look at your budget, maybe look for some sales or things at the store, beautify your home, uh, you know, spend time with your family or your children. She's a, a lot like the Queen of Rods, also successful in her own way which is a probably slower and more conservative approach and pace, but nonetheless very successful because she embodies this practical grounded approach 
which is taking your time, thinking things through, being responsible. But you get a real sense here of nurturing. We get a sense of support here, of love and caring, of following, act, being active and, and, and uh, pursuing your, your goals or your hopes. And then we have some more nurturing love, practical approach, keeping things real. And keeping things real is going to be important. The Seven of Swords, outcome for the week, possible outcome. What does this look like to you? It looks like someone is walking away with the swords. So you need to be vigilant. You need to be mindful in your act interactions with others. You know, is someone trying to take something from you? Is someone trying to hone in on your clients? Is someone trying to, um, you know, flirt with your, your better half? Is someone trying to take advantage of you through a scam or th some other, you know, online thing? So you have to be really careful. This can be a trickster. This can be someone who is, uh, has deceit and someone who's presenting as one thing, but is really something else. So it's a matter of being wise and being smart and, and this week staying on your toes and really paying close attention to people's body language, their words, their actions, and just kind of making that personal judgment on, you know, where they're coming from. So Aries, interesting spread for you. Let's get a little more information from the Oracle cards and this will be like an affirmation for the week. You are worth it. So you are worth it. First thoughts that come to mind, it's about the support and the belief that you're worth, you know, whatever it is you do that of helping others or receiving help. You are worth it in terms of your abilities and talents. And you are worth it with respect to, you know, what you have achieved and what you're grateful for and what brings you pleasure and contentment. And finally, let's choose a card for love. Giving. So a card of giving, you know, we see this with the Six of Pentacles, we see a giving heart with the King of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles. So giving, being supportive, you know, uh, of coming from a real place. So Aries, this is what I have for you for the week. I hope that you found something helpful here with this reading. If you did, please subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video, share this video, comment below. I wish you a fantastic week and I look forward to seeing you next week. Take care. Bye-bye.